Making news around the nation now, President Biden facing dual, dueling crises, making progress on one as those COVID relief checks begin arriving for many Americans while working to address the growing number of migrants crossing the southern border. The Biden administrator today promoting help that's already arriving from the new COVID stimulus law dubbed the American Rescue Plan. The plan's benefits include $1,400 direct payments that started hitting bank accounts this weekend. Shots in arms and money in pockets. That's important. The American Rescue Plan is already doing what it was designed to do. Meantime, GOP lawmakers trying to shift focus from a topic that's a win for the president and hold him accountable for a surge of migrants at the border with thousands of children crossing alone just last week. And that situation has garnered the attention of House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. He visited the U.S.-Mexico border today as more and more unaccompanied migrants continue to cross into the U.S. 17 Zayton Wallace joins us now with a look at the situation at the border, plus McCarthy's message for the president. Hey, Tom. Last week alone, more than 3,000 migrant children crossed into the United States, and tonight leaders from both parties are blaming one another. In El Paso, Texas today, just north of the United States-Mexico line, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy met with agents from the U.S. Border Patrol, the Bakersfield congressman leading a delegation of 13 GOP Congress members. I came down here because I heard of the crisis. That crisis, he says, is a surge of unaccompanied migrant children. Last week alone, at least 3,200 children crossed into the United States. It's more than a crisis. This is a human heartbreak. As U.S. migrant shelter facilities fill up beyond their capacities, McCarthy says the Biden administration needs to do more. The sad part about all of this, it didn't have to happen. This crisis is created by the presidential policies of this new administration. There's no other way to claim it than a Biden border crisis. The White House acknowledging there are now too many children at border patrol stations. The Biden administration has sent FEMA to arrange better shelter conditions. The last administration uh, left us a dismantled uh, and unworkable system. And like any other problem, uh, we are going to do everything we can to solve it. 17 News Democratic analyst Neil Sinapa says when it comes to immigration, both parties are playing political games. We've advertised in the United States being a melting pot. And that, you know, this is a place where you should come to if you're an immigrant, if you're looking for, you know, salvation, if you if you believe in the American dream. Um, but, you know, our immigration policies haven't shown that. And both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats, have used immigration as a political football. And I believe that, you know, we do need to figure out how to. Uh, how to make this process uh, better. McCarthy is scheduled to return to Washington tomorrow. Now, earlier this month, he told me he hopes to have a meeting with the president about the situation at the border. I will let you know if and when that happens. In Bakersfield, Aton Wallace, 17 News.